Ladies and gentlemen, friends and distinguished guests, I hope you are all full now. Anyway, uh, we conceived this idea way back like 2,000 years ago when we were having our meeting and I tried to motivate, motivate the unit by saying to them that people are starving, people are dying. Not because they have money to buy or because of acid or things like that, but because they don't have anything to eat. Gone are the days when uh, they still have something on their head. When I say something on their head, we're talking about cardboard. I'm not talking about the uh, high ceiling, you know, or houses that they can leave. It is already appalling at that time when they have cardboard on their head, on their head as protection from weather, leaving on the street, on the side street. Now they don't even have that, brothers and sisters. So for those of you who have not been in the Philippines, that's how it is. But for you who live here in New York, you don't even have to go over there. I believe that whether you are believers or not, it transcends the meaning of the poor. Because whether you believe in God or not, when you see a poor, there's always something in your heart that tells you, I'm better off than him. Why? Because I can still afford to smile, I can still afford to bring my family wherever I want to go. Maybe sometimes we miss credit card payment, we want to go to Florida, we can, or even our mortgage. But bear in mind that those people back there, not only in the Philippines, the third world countries, composed of Indonesia, India, Vietnam maybe, are dying because of sickness, are dying because they don't have anything to eat, are dying because they cannot go to the hospital because they don't even have money to buy for the pairs that they need. So brothers and sisters, maybe it's a God calling for you, even though actually invited so many people, but only if you are here. And I always tell them that God always, you know, invite a lot of people, but only if you are chosen. So lucky are we that we are here, we are the chosen one. If you want to, to take that opportunity to a higher end by helping the poor, it's up to you. We are here just to show you, you know, how it is. I know most of you know that already. But again, you know, knowing and doing something is two different things. We know that a lot of people are dying of hunger. We know that America helped a lot of people. That is the difference. Action and knowing. And when you have uh, when you have the goal to help, the purpose to help, and the action to do it, all of that is nothing without the result. If I want to help somebody out there, but me going there, he died already on, you know, for one reason or another, then my intention is good. But for those people who are dying, it's already too late. So brothers and sisters, let's uh, have an open mind. And maybe this presentation, as I've said again, transcend those believers or not, that deep in our heart, we'll find something that uh, we can say to ourselves, I can do something, I can help. Helping means not only giving money, not only the treasure, your time, your treasure, and your talent also. So once again, thank you very much for giving your time here. Thank you for everybody who made these things possible. I cannot mention all their names, but most of all, thank you to God for giving us the privilege to serve you. Thank you so much. We came down uh, a little uh, late than the time that you indicated. So we just finished with our um, meeting uh, upstairs. But uh, thank you so much for um, inviting us and the Deputy Consul General to this um, big event of uh, the Gawad Kalinga and I would like to um, congratulate uh, Jerry Garcia for um, the um, exhibit that we are going to unveil very uh, shortly and uh, Jerry is giving us um, um, photos or images in the Philippines um, which um, explain why we have to support Gawad Kalinga. I'm sure you are all familiar with um, Gawad Kalinga and I hope you will be there in Boston. Will you be there? Yeah, of course. Uh, you will be there in, in Boston for the, um, the first um, summit um, meeting of all um, Gawad Kalinga volunteers, builders, 
friends and uh, supporters. Now I uh, congratulate the Gawad Kalinga team in uh, our area for their uh, hard work in um, convincing everybody or uh, the Filipino American community and our American friends to uh, extend their support to uh, Gawad Kalinga. And I'm happy that in our area, um, Gawad Kalinga, which is a very uh, noble project, has or continue to receive the support of uh, the members of the Filipino American uh, community. Um, Jerry, I have not seen your um, your work. You know, I, I wanted to peep when I uh, arrived this morning because I was so intrigued with this beautiful uh, covers. But uh, you know, I. Um, I did not uh, do that because I um, want to be, um, I, I want to join all of you as we all um, unveil uh, this um, exhibit. So um, thank you so much and uh, friends, I hope uh, we will all work together for uh, Gawad Kalinga to uh, provide uh, decent houses not only houses, but um, a beautiful community to the poorest of the poor in uh, the Philippines. Um, I don't know where we are in uh, the um, target of Gawad Kalinga, whether we are halfway of the 700,000 houses in um, 70, in 7,000 communities in seven years, I think uh, we're still far, no? because uh, we're almost nearing the seven years and I don't think we have reached 50% of our target. So uh, we all have to work uh, very hard and uh, I hope uh, all of you uh, here will um, consider or continue to uh, extend assistance to Gawad Kalina. Thank you very much. Fundraising ko sa union. Para one inches. Para one inches. Fundraising. They are contained in 